us here where we got two days to get stuff done. Go get some shopping done. Go get some groceries for the holiday weekend. Uh, go, I don't know, go have fun. Go get a coffee or something like that because we're about to get a whole lot colder. Arctic air is moving on in. Wednesday night. Now the timing of this is kind of somewhere between about 7 to 9 p.m. Wednesday night. This is going to bring life threatening wind chills, which we do not say lightly and we reserve for situations like what's coming our way. Light snow is also going to come. It's kind of weird to think that the snow is going to be far from the main talking point because usually anytime there's snow, we're like, whoa, snow. But no, the cold is the big thing here. Let me just kind of get you a snapshot of the main stuff here. This cold is going to hit Wednesday night. The worst of it will sit on Thursday. We'll have a high of one in Denver barely above zero. High of two in Springs, a high of four in Pueblo. Now you have to remember the high means the absolute warmest the whole day will be. And it's probably only going to be for an hour or two on Thursday afternoon. The low of Friday morning will drop to negative 10 to negative 20, kind of depending on your location. So we know there's going to be an exceptionally cold air mass in place. We have to factor the wind into it. And the wind is extra dangerous for us, humans, animals. Because when that air reacts with the cold in our skin, Wind chill can produce frostbite if it's below negative five within 10 minutes of a 30 mile per hour wind. So we are without a doubt looking at frostbite danger. Look at the chills forecast at 2 a.m. Thursday morning. It's like negative 50 in Lyman, negative 17 to negative 36 in Monument. So let's go deeper into Thursday morning. This is 5 a.m. Theoretically, a couple of people could be up trying to get to work. We'll be here at work by that time. And then through like 8 a.m. on Thursday, that's a wind chill forecast of negative 54 in Lyman, negative 30 in Colorado Springs on the north end of town, negative 50 in Lyman, negative 25 degree chill in Pueblo. And I think Denver also in those mid negative 20s. So this is a dangerous air mass. I'm really happy we don't have to worry about school or anything later this week because I would hope they would cancel. It's just too dangerous to be outside for very long. Wind chill watches are obviously in effect. These will turn into wind chill warnings and we reserve those for whenever the chills are below negative 24, which is going to happen pretty widespread. Temperatures right now are in the single digits and teens. A couple 20s are out there like Ryan Canyon City. Later today it'll be cloudy, so that'll make us feel kind of chilly. But we then jump to your super seven day forecast and the one really nice thing is that Christmas will be about a high of 52. So there is some good news on the horizon, but Wednesday night we see those falling temperatures. Light snow develops through Thursday morning. Not very much accumulation, but in the Pikes Peak region, chills are between negative 20 to negative 40 degrees. We'll have negative 12 for Friday morning and we bounce back into the weekend. In Pueblo, we're talking about four for the high on Thursday and negative 15 on Friday morning. There won't be a whole lot of snow Thursday morning in Pueblo, half inch to an absolute inch on the high end. Uh, but again, probably less than an inch. Canyon City between oh, about a dusting to an inch, so somewhere in there. It's a pretty light snow forecast and it's not as cold, but it's still really cold. Negatives Wednesday night, Thursday night. In Woodland Park, oh, about two to three inches, we think, on the high end. So there will be some snow Thursday morning and then Thursday night. Temps drop to 13 below.